Okay, so I have a question. This is a Craftsman 2 Sears Craftsman 2 garden tractor. Yeah, that's what it looks like normally, and I got that Jeep front on it. So. Anyway, the starter. This is uh, 18 horsepower Briggs. The starter, let me show you what the starter is. The starter is chewing up gears right here. That was actually still starting the garden tractor somehow. Just enough left on there to do it. But look, right here, that's an old one. That's an old one all chewed up. Here's one in the package, but it's old right here. Here's the part number if you want it. 16 teeth. Uh, Briggs and Stratton starter. I got a hall green or retainer. Okay, that went well. Um, this goes on top, you know, with the hall green. Now, so what? So this is probably a history of probably five years. But so every year and a half. I'll replace them. That was still working, but I could hear it, and I knew it was fixing to go out. I mean, they're plastic, right? I got this starter, and I tried to fit it in there, and this was just, you know, it's a different end. It was just too long. It wasn't, it wasn't really fitting. I mean, the bolt holes matched up and all that, and it's just tight in there, so. Anyway, so what do I need to do to fix this? I mean, do, do it. Is this a common problem? Is it just mine? Is my flywheel warped? Is there something going on that I'm not doing right? I mean, I did a little research before in the past, and it seems like, um, you know, they, they you can't get a metal gear for it. Right there is where it goes. I mean, the flywheel seems good. So I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um, that starter's been around for a while. I might just order a whole, so, yeah, a whole new starter. Like, so on Amazon, that's aftermarket. The one I got is an aftermarket starter from Amazon. It was $38. Uh, it's aftermarket. So that might be the problem. Here's the part number if you want to see it. That's the part number right there. So should I spend the hundred and something dollars it takes to get the, the, the Briggs starter costs a lot more, but it might be worth it. I mean, it might, that might be what my problem is. Um, I don't know if it is any better, um, but maybe it is. So I need, so this, so I'm asking the question, have you dealt with this? What fixed it or do y'all swap these out every couple of years? You can see, I got the, um, here, let me show you. I got something else here. See, this is a Craftsman 2. I know it don't look like it, but this is a Craftsman 2. And um, so you can tell right there it is. But this is a Kohler. And but see, this does it too. Like I've, I've replaced this a few times. I'll replace that one a couple of times. So it's, it's not like the Briggs is, I think it's just a problem. So I'm asking, do y'all run into this? What do you do to fix it? Is uh, Should I just spend the money for the uh, name brand Briggs? Or should I just keep on doing uh, the aftermarket ones? Now, you know, those little plastic gears, they don't cost just a few dollars. So what I'm thinking about, so I can have a backup, because right now I'm out, is just buy me a whole nother starter. And, buy, and, and replace this and buy another gear and replace that. So anyway, looking for opinions. Tell me what you think.